Hello. We've had a number recently who have talked to us about the issues they have with loneliness and making friends. And it's a serious issue. If you've never been lonely and you find it easy to make friends, you will not understand just how serious it is for those that struggle with this. So I want to talk a bit about the neurology. We started doing research many years ago now on the cerebellum and the impact it had on all the things we do in our life, all our skills. And we were doing a specific project with children who were struggling with reading. We wanted to know if by developing the cerebellum using very similar exercises to the ones we use in the Zing Brain Development Programme, we wanted to know if that would help children that struggled with reading. And we got stuck into it and we got a load of parents to bring their children along and we had a shock. The very first time we called them all back to do a review, it's after three weeks after they started, doing the, the exercises, they were saying, well, in most cases the reading hadn't started to improve yet, it did later, but it hadn't, but what had changed in most of them was that their confidence and their ability to make friends was changing. This was a shock to us, it wasn't what we were expecting, it wasn't what, even what we were trying to do, and we now know because we've studied it, but we had to then go back to the neuroscientists and the psychologists and saying, what's happening? We're getting some remarkable and surprising results here. And eventually they with us worked out what was happening. Those children that were shyer, those children that were slower to make friends, actually had an issue either with their auditory processing, in other words, their ability to take in what they were listening to and turn it into thoughts they understood. Everyone could do it, but for some, it was very slow. For others, it was instantaneous. And we realised that that was to do with the cerebellum. The cerebellum's ability to create the processing power, the computer programmes that turns what you hear into what you understand, wasn't fully developed. Was it working? Yes, but very slowly and not efficiently, because it was using the thinking brain. Likewise, many of those had a problem with turning their thoughts into words that they wanted to bring out of their mouth. For some, it's an absolutely automatic, effortless, instant process. But for others, there was a delay, a third of a second, half a second, when they were trying to put into words the thoughts in their mind. And sometimes people cruelly say of others, you can see their cogs whirring. But what they mean is, their processing is happening in their thinking brain rather than fully hardwired in their long-term memory. So that process is slower, it's not so automatic. So what we found was a, was a correlation between children with cerebellar developmental, incomplete cerebellar development, and lack of confidence, lack of ability to make friends. And we were also finding, as they went more and more through the exercise program we were giving them, that they were seeing wonderfully improved ability to make friends. They were more relaxed, everything was more effortless, they were happier, they were less shy and so on. Why? Because their processing had gone from the thinking brain into automatic zone where it's more consistent and, and so on. But there's another thing happening. Often people with those issues have, uh, they, they not only find difficulty making friends, they also find that sometimes they say the wrong thing. They're a little socially clumsy. What's happening there? Well, if all the processing that should be happening in our long-term memory, where it's unlimited and you can do huge amounts of it at, at lightning speed, if that processing is having to happen in the thinking brain, it's filling up the thinking brain with stuff that shouldn't be there. Now, the thinking brain is where you also need to process your social skills. Am I going to say the most inappropriate thing? Am I going to offend somebody? And so on. All of those processes have got to happen there in the thinking brain. And if it's already full of other things, you're going to be socially clumsy because you can't do everything. So there's an explanation about why people are shy, why they're lonely, why they're sometimes socially clumsy as well. I hope it makes sense. And what I'd love you to do is if you know someone that's lonely, if you meet someone that's lonely or socially clumsy, please understand why they're like it. They don't want to be like it. They're not choosing to be like it. They haven't got a switch that can stop them being like that. It's because of the way they're wired. And I'm hoping for all those that do suffer from it, that as they go through the Zing Brain Development Programme, they will find things like that 
getting easier and easier and please let us know when that happens because it's 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 great news and everyone to whom that happens it feels like the first because i know just how important it is to have confidence to have friends and to be socially adept in the way you communicate with them i wish you all the best